G'day, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic we're going to talk about uh, modulating modula modular blocks um, and applying those sort of designs to your ships. Um, if you choose to, if you're interested in something different, trying something different. Uh, so the idea with um, with having like snapped together module uh, sections of ships is that uh, you go away and design them in, in creative mode um, and then you um, apply them in your game so the idea is to make like a low block count ship that you can snap together really quickly and you can put out into the field and in, in your game so that it continues to sort of do what you want it to do without spending hours and hours trying to design a particular ship uh, to do a really simple role like a cargo vessel so in today's uh, video we're going to build a cargo vessel um, and what what I'm going to show you is um, how, I, how I'm doing it so in this demonstration um, I have uh, a selection of uh, different modules uh, that I'm going to be able to put together on this particular ship to design a cargo vessel uh, so I have um, different um, sections of a ship already pre-built prefabricated that we're going to slap together and our final product hopefully will be a cargo vessel that will run properly um, you can expand on this um, on this idea more by adding um, fighter bays if you want or hyperspace jump modules to a ship this ship has basically got thrusters engine um, all the components the life support components for the ship to move um, and do what it needs to do <clears throat> you can tweak and improve on them um, as time goes on if you like um, but the basic premise behind um, having modular sections to a ship is that <clears throat> It doesn't matter what you put on the side of it or put on the ship, um, it will fit on the rest of the ship uh, as we go along. Um, so no nothing's, um, nothing's like a special design. You can put a particular piece of um, um, block on any part of um, any module that you've built. So we'll just have a look at this particular block here. And this one here, this module is a, a, a cargo. Um, cargo block so what we can do is um, as you can see um, I prefabricated it to have cargo hold and I've also added integrity fields to this particular design so each all of my modules will have like a integrity field module to it to you know obviously protect your that particular section from you know attack you know and strengthen the build even more so that's that's the idea so i add the integrity fields and i also um with each part with each section that i do so we might just jump in and just start building and i know this looks kind of basic and that is the idea of it to keep the low block count to keep a low block count but we'll start off by um we'll be applying a crew quarters nothing special like i said we'll be applying a crew quarters and then we we can now say well I need some power to my ship so I have a power so I'll apply that to my clipboard and we shall so we have we have power, we have crew quarters, uh, we might want to put shields in. Rotate these blocks. Oop. So we got we got that. So we might want to add Cargo. 
we might want to add cargo, apply to kick. So this is going to be a cargo vessel. couple sections of that and we have probably thrusters we might want to add a thruster block apply to clip clipboard and we have thrusters so I am going to rotate this Right, so we have a basic shape here. We'll check all of our systems to make sure it makes sense. Uh, we'll add we'll add some crew to it. So we'll just quickly add crew. So we'll have a look at um, some of these blocks. So you you can see what I'm trying to do here. We will. Uh, so we got a cargo hold. We got three sections of cargo hold here for our um, ship. We got our crew quarters. Uh, thrusters. Now the way these thrusters are designed is um, in the middle. Um, it's clear, so thrusters won't work against each other. So if you have thrusters down the um, if you have thrusters um, crossing over like the x-axis like this they'll tend to work against you a little bit so um, in this particular design this modular design I've kept that area clear and I have put in there gyro rays so I have gyro rays um, in the middle of that um, in the center of the mass of the ship to sort of you know fill in the space um, and sort of operate the way I want it to operate and it'll just ha it just helps with the turning and the rotation side of things. Uh, shield generator in the middle. Again, these are all merged to try and keep. Then we got our um, a normal generator, and we have integrity fields. It's probably more than what's really needed on a ship. Really, it's a bit of an overkill. But again, and these are all modulated, so they're all going to look the same. And yeah, that's all of the blocks so far. So what we can do, um, now we need to move forward. So we need to apply some thrusters to our ship. So I have I have a thruster module. To apply to the ship. So we've done that. Oh, it looks a bit off, doesn't it? Oh no, yeah, it's fine. Nope. Oh, uh, apply the clipboard. Yeah, that looks better. So we've got our thrusters. Right. Now we're going to apply our command tower. So that's our command tower for the ship. Um, I've got a few blocks in there, nothing, nothing spectacular. And, um, right, so we'll add some more crew to that. And she seems to be working a little bit more. Right, so we have our ship menu. So, cargo. 
and 76,000. So we can, I can add to this. So I might go, all right. Now I have um, some. I have some more cargo uh, modules that I can add to this. Right, so I'm going to go. I want to add some cargo modules to this particular design. again sorry about that that looks better and these are just cargo holds we're adding extra cargo to the ship cargo capacity And these are quick uh, modules that you can put down. Oh, looking good, looking good. <laughs> and these are low block count bits, right? Right, so I might put some uh, side thrusters on here as well. Because... Um, We're going to get heavier and heavier and heavier as time goes on. So this could be uh, a little bit problematic. So we can, what we can do is we can test our ship out again. Seems to be moving all right. But I know the minute you put weight in something like this, we're going to we're going to help just put a little bit more thrusters on here. So these are some engine blocks. We'll apply them to the clipboard. Uh, we might put them at the front, I think. And of course these are all modular designs so you could put this anywhere um, on a ship and that's the that's the idea behind it is to be able to um, put them on probably a bit too far forward and there we go so I've moved them back just slightly crew right so we've added a few more thrusters to it I might add some more there we go 
go. Add some more thrusters. And we might add some side thrustings. Just to give it a bit of man man more maneuverability. There we go. That's the block I'm after. couple of engine blocks, some side thrusters. Right, and then we can probably finish it off and apply some. More cargo hold. And there we have it. We have a cargo vessel. It's all modulated. Yeah, it's got about just under 10,000 uh, cargo hull, which is not too bad for five minutes work. Added crew systems, seems to rotate quite well. Of course, um, I didn't have a hyperspace um, uh, module on here, so it won't be able to jump very far. But you kind of get the um, idea of what it looks like. So yeah, that's sort of what a um, modulating uh, a module ship will look like. Is is you're able to put them together rather fast. What you need them for, um, you could turn this into a mining vessel if you wanted to, instead of a cargo vessel. Uh, you could change some blocks around and make it into um, put some fighter bays in there as well. Um, but yeah, that's the idea of uh, keeping module ships is to be able to put stuff together quickly um, what you want on there so you can swap things out if you wanted to it's really up to you um, and your imagination of what you wanted to do so yeah that's basically the video that I also wanted to show you and um, yeah thank you for listening to a knucklehead like me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, leave a comment down below uh, about uh, what you do do you build like this in Avorian. Um, uh, be interesting to hear your sort of feedback on this sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, all right then. Thank you. Bye.